what's going on guys it's the Druden here we're gonna go over the chat GPT Gmail um, Gmail replier uh, pretty nice pretty simple plugin but very powerful I'll tell you that so I'm just gonna go over what the uh, what the what this product does and how we can create it for your own so you don't have to go out there and pay any uh, fees for this because you basically you basically own the code so it's gonna be your own code everything's done already I'll share everything with you guys uh, so what you guys gonna have is I'm a shower I will put a link in the description for these files here uh, so this is all you need everything's done in here uh, everything's coded uh, it's the extension here uh, I pulls the data from your Gmail sends it over to make uh, the, the scenario uh, so it's gonna send it over to here it's gonna pull the data from your Gmail it's going to plug it into the webhook. It's going to pull out your data from your Gmail. It's going to send it over to ChatGPT. It's going to create a prompt with the uh, body of whatever email you received with the message you wrote. And then it's going to shoot it back out. And then we're going to take that. And then it's going to and it's gonna pull it back into your Gmail. So we're just going to do a quick demonstration here. Uh, so for example here, I got an email here from Monica. She's saying, hey, it's Druden. Uh, we are still out of space and current record the Linda spotlight we had yesterday. Uh, we will be training next Monday and I very much want that recorded and uploaded in the back office. Have you heard from Kirk? If not, can you clear the space and make sure the recording gets uploaded next week? Okay. So I just did a sample here. This is just me without no chat GPT and this is the one with chat GPT. But ignore this here. We're going to do another one here. So for example, and uh, this email here, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to click on the reply button or you could go to reply to all. Uh, so I'm just going to do reply to all here real quick. So what I'm going to say is, uh, hey, Monica, I will take care of this. All right. Just like that. OK. And then there's a button on here. Reply GPT. What this does is it will grab what I have in here and then sends it over in here and then sends it here to chat GPT. And the ChatGPT is going to respond to it professionally and send it back to uh, uh, mark it down, make make it look all nice, and then send it back to the body of the email. Okay, so I only wrote this here. Now, very important for this to work and for this to pull this data here, uh, Gmail has been having a lot of complications with their APIs. So we need to make sure that these three bottoms in here. So make sure you always click on show trimmed content. Okay, it's very important. If you do not click this, then it's going to it's just going to use this data. So just make sure you have this checked on here. So make sure you click on this. Okay, now now we're set. All right, now we can do reply GPT. Okay, so we're just going to click on reply GPT here. So it's generating reply with chat GPT. Okay, so we're done. So this is what it pulled in. So sometimes it will put your name in here. I'm not sure why it didn't this time, but it's fine. Uh, they already know who you should be. Uh, or, or you could put your name in here. Okay, like so. Okay, so hey, Monica, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to reach out to let you know I have received your email and I want to assure you that I will take care of the space issue and make sure that the Linux Spotlight recording with Doug is recorded and uploaded in the back office next Monday. I will also follow up with Carrick to clear the space if needed. Thank you for bringing this to my attention and feel free to reach out if you have any other uh, requests or need further assistance. Take care, okay? And then you just click send to send that bad boy over, okay? Just like that. So that's the auto reply. Uh, replying to the emails here and then you also have the compose uh, where if you want to send an email out so here let me do mine here so uh, let us do an example uh, hey uh, hey please uh, join the link below for our zoom meeting um, to set up your systems right just like that and then it's going to do reply GPT here click on that okay it's generating it and it's pulled in okay it's going to pull it out and say hey there I hope you're doing well. I wanted to let you know that we have a Zoom meeting scheduled to set up your systems. Please join by clicking the link below. Just put it in your Zoom link here. We are excited to work with you and get everything set up smoothly. Let me know if you have any questions or need any assistance in the meantime. Looking forward to our meeting. Thank you. And then your signature block will be pulled back in there. Uh, it pulls it out, pulls it back in. Uh, still working on how we can put it back in the uh, uh, replying to the emails. Uh, so that's being worked on. But in the meantime, it's going to, for the Compose, when you're writing a brand new email, it's going to pull everything in for you. Uh, so you can just erase this part here and then paste your link in here, uh, your subject, and who you want to send it to. Okay. So now we're going to go over how we can make this 
tool for ourselves so that we don't have to pay uh, these uh, extension companies okay so i just want to go over this real quick and then we're going to go and set everything up so webhooks i uh, just need to come in here and make this system here okay it's very simple uh, and then open ai this is what's being ran in here okay that's it Not nothing complicated guys we can get this done right away less than five minutes we'll be up and running okay markdown is just pulling the data i uh, just click in here and then it allows you to you just go to choose it, choices of uh, messages and then you just click on content and it'll fetch it in for you okay pretty simple we're gonna go ahead and do this all uh from scratch now okay webhooks and then it pulls in the data from html to the webhook and sends it back to the uh, body of the gmail all right so that's that's what we're gonna do uh so without further ado everybody let's get started so i'm gonna open a new profile here that i don't have set up so i don't have a setup in this system here so let's set it up in here all right so when you download the file okay so when you download the file um it'll be here if it's going to be in a zip so just drag and drop the file out of the zip lock a uh, zip uh so for example you're going to get it like this okay so 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 you're going to get the file like this so just double click on the file and then drag and then drag and drop it okay drag and drop it in the desktop downloads folder wherever you can find it just drag and drop it out of the zip uh folder okay that'll unzip it okay so we have that taken care of so it's right here now so what we want to do now is uh so what we want to do now is uh let's see so let's go to uh click on click on this button right here where it says extensions that's the puzzle one and then what you want to do is you want to go to manage extensions here click on manage extensions and then in here what you want to do is you want to go load unpacked okay so do load unpacked here and then you want to go to your desktop and find that right so here it is right here gmail gpt extension the one on my desktop right here select the folder okay so it says extension loaded okay so we're done Not, we don't need to do anything else here uh let's open a new tab and close the extensions out so now let's go to our gmail okay mm so let's go to our gmail here so now let's just click on any random uh so let me go over here so let me do this person here michael michael kuznar here okay so i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna click on reply here okay so now the button is on here so when we click on reply gpt when you have it brand new it's going to ask for you to uh put in your webhook here so let's go ahead and create that so let's go over to make.com if you don't have a login you can just easily create one real fast uh so let's just go to get started free and this is free as well make make is free you, know, you get up to a thousand uh re replies within uh within a uh, within a month so i'm pretty sure you're not going to send a thousand emails in a month so you'll be set for the whole month uh every year uh throughout the year okay so let me just sign in with google here real quick okay 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 so far so good okay okay let's just set this up right just go ahead and click whatever that pops up uh, pops up in here okay and get started just get just get it up and running okay don't over complicate anything here okay so once we're in uh n we don't need to do anything we just need to go over to scenarios here on the left side click on scenarios we're gonna click on create a new scenario here okay good so r right off the bat um so right off the bat there's a button here so just go ahead and click on this button here and then what we're going to do is click on webhooks and then we're going to do webhook uh create this, this one right here in the bottom web webhook response okay so we're going to click on that oh sorry uh, let me get rid of this right here so so, so it's going to be webhooks and it's going to be custom webhook all right so it's going to be custom webhook click on that right there and then we're gonna create click on create a webhook okay uh nothing to do in here just click on save okay bam we got our code right so you just click on stop here don't need that so we got our code here so we just double click and copy this right because why because this system needs it here all right so that's the very first step we just got done okay now we put that in there and I press ok okay now that's done 
There is no scenario listing for this webhook. Perfect. That means that the extension is working perfectly. It's communicating, but there's nothing being pulled in. Okay, so let's do okay there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add another module here. And then we're gonna add open AI here, okay? And then we're gonna click on create a completion prompt. Okay, so go ahead and click on that there. Okay, now it's gonna make you, it wants you to connect to your uh, chat GPT account. If you don't have one, you should have one by now. Uh, probably a lot of people have it already, so you should have one, you need one. Uh, so click on create a connection here. Okay, so it wants an API key. So make sure you're logged into API. Uh, make sure you're logged into ChatGPT. So just click on create an API key. So just click this right here. Okay. So just click on that. It's gonna take you to the API area. See, I'm logged in already, and mine is mine is a paid version. Uh, I believe it's just 25 bucks a month, something like that. Or if you're with a company, you can have your company pay for it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna click on create a new secret key in the right here, in the top right, or right here in the bottom center. Okay. So just do create new key, and then I'm just gonna call it uh, Gmail reply. Okay, okay, and then leave everything else as is. Create secret key. Okay, so it's gonna create this key here. Very important. Just copy this here, and then click on. I'll uh, just keep it. Just copy it and leave it like that for now, just in case you lose it. So come back to the uh, come back to the make.com scenario section and paste that in there. Now your organization ID, where are you gonna get that? There's a link right below here, all right? So just go ahead and click this, and then your organization ID is right here, okay? Just like that, just copy that and paste that in there, okay? So very nice and very simple. So go ahead and click on save. Okay, it's gonna connect to it, and it looks like it's connected. Okay, now, come on. Okay, give it, give it some time, okay? Okay, so far so good. It's connecting to the chat GPT, it's communicating with it. Just give us a second here. Okay, so far so good. Okay, anytime. Okay, just give it give it a little second here. Okay, it's still it's still connecting to the chat GPT. And be done there. Uh, max tokens just put two thousand in there, uh, so this should be is this enough? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so over here we we, we want to click on just uh, let's see what is this just 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 ignore ignore this if you see this not not related to us uh, so go ahead and click on uh, create a prompt completion and on the model so okay so here we go it's gonna be uh, GPT 3.0 Turbo okay. It's the one there so let me see why this one's not working. Okay, there you go. Now it's working. Okay, perfect. Okay, so yeah, so we do need to call. We do need to get on the critic chat completion GPT models. All right. So we need to select this one right here with the GPT models, and then you want to do the GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, just like that. All right. And then what you want to do is messages. So you want to add a message here. Role could be system here. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to click. But the message content is important, okay? Message content is important here, guys. Okay, so in here, I already have something pre-written for you guys to copy and paste, okay? This is, will be in your folder as well. I'll put that in your folder uh, so you'll have access to this. So you just wanna go ahead and copy all, everything in here. Oops, okay, copy it and then paste it in here, okay? Just like that. For now, it's blacked out, that's fine because there's nothing being pulled in, everything's blank. Okay, so just do okay now. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna add a new model. So we're done with ChatGPT, everybody. We got that all set up. And now we're gonna do. Uh, where's the? 
Okay, so we're gonna type in here markdown to HTML, all right? So markdown, markdown to HTML. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Okay, markdown, uh, we're gonna do choices here. I click inside of here. We're gonna do choices, messages, and then content, okay? So we're gonna click on this, okay? Choices, messages, and then content. Make sure you click on content only, and you're clicking on the arrows here, okay? If you click on all of them, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna mess it up, all right? So let me just erase everything here real quick, and let's do it again. So click here. So make sure you go to choices, and then you cl left click on the drop down, and then you click on the content once you're in here, okay? So it should pop up just like that. Okay, so let's close this and then press OK here. So once that's done, we're going to go in here. And now for the final step, we're going to go to webhooks. Okay, and then we're going to click on webhook response. All right. So 200, that means that it's successful. So body, you're going to click in here. And then you're going to click on HTML from Markdown, okay? So go ahead and click on the HTML right here, this purple button. Okay, click on HTML and then click on OK. Okay, we got that step all done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click on run once. Okay, so now it's listening. So let's go back in here. Okay, so now let's test it out. So make sure, remember uh, these three dots show trimmed content. Make sure that's always clicked. That's very important. So it, so it pulls the conversation log, okay? So now we can say, uh, hey, uh, thank you for the information. Okay, just like that. And now we're gonna do reply GPT here. Okay, let's see it work. Okay, it's working it. Okay, there you go. Now that's all set. Okay. So we got the email replier all set up and ready to go. Now let's try the compose here. I don't have a signature block set up here, but you guys get the idea. Just click on reply GPT and then you'll get it all set up. So we could say something like, um, uh, please join me in the zoom session below All right just like that now you want to click on reply gpt okay so so it's accepted because we did not activate it okay so it only ran once so what we have to do is we have to click on on okay so once everything's working fine uh we can click on on okay so if we click on here now so on here uh if you see it's red now uh, it says email to everything's pulled in now okay so everything's being pulled in so everything's set up here nicely so now we are ready to turn it on okay so immediately as data arrives just set that up as immediately and then turn this on okay so let's delete the old data and then on okay so now it's on so whatever comes in it's going to shoot it out immediately all right so let's go ahead and test that one more time now so let's go back uh so let's say below and then reply gpt and bam we're golden okay guys uh that's what i have for you i'll be putting all the links of everything we just went through down in the description below uh should be a google drive link uh if not it'll be another different link uh, for you guys to download follow the steps and you guys should be good to go Thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to see you guys soon with another video. Bye bye.